What's up, guys? Today is Friday the 18th. We are about to do something that God placed on my heart to do. We are going to hunt for homeless people so that we can bless them. So get ready and let's head out. Shawty giving Esther, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. What's up, everybody? I hope all is well with you guys on this Friday. Friday the 18th, to be exact. Yeah, I am a little bit fatigued, just a little bit. Um, I guess because I have been working all week or whatnot, so that's probably why I feel that way. I don't know. But I did just get back from um, finding the homeless and blessing them with plates. Y'all, some of my footage somehow got deleted. I don't know because when I was recording, it kept saying storage is full. So I tried to, excuse me, say it. I tried to delete some of the old footage that I don't use no more. And I think somehow some of my new footage got deleted. So you guys ain't gonna see everything that I did. However, I did have something there for you guys to watch. So yeah, I'm sorry. I am so sorry, y'all. I promise. But I'm going to do it again Sunday as well. But here's a little bit of it, all right? All right. I know uh, one corner where they usually are at or what have you. So we're going to go over there. That's usually where I go to, like, Walmart or what have you. So they usually be over there, too. So that's going to be our first stop is at the local Walmart over here by me. So I'm not going to go too far out of the way. I must tr try to stay within my, uh, because I only got like five plates with me anyway. What the? Oh, I only got like five plates with me and five um, bottles of water with me anyway. So it's not like I'm going to be able to just go out to multiple communities and things like that. So I'm only going to stay like around the corner for me or what have you. All right, guys. So we are headed to our local Walmart that's over here by me. Um, usually that's where they are usually at. And so we are about to head there and see if we can hunt down some homeless people to bless. That sounds bad, didn't it? Hunt down some homeless people. Y'all know. It's all good in the neighborhood, so. But, yeah. So, like I said, though, the difference between you, I mean, the difference between them and us is that we are blessed with the hand of God. Like, for real. We are very fortunate. And we should never take advantage of being fortunate. You see what I'm saying? We should always want to help people and different things like that. So, that is what we are going to be doing today. And like I said, I'm just going to be staying in my neighborhood, honestly, because I got five plates with me. So, it's not like I have like a ton of food um to give to different communities and things like that so we're just going to stay around the neighborhood and kind of just see what we see so we are going to be hunting down homeless people today to bless to bless to bless so this is the first stop is at walmart i usually see them here at walmart so let's just keep our fingers crossed that we see them once we get there and voila i think i found a homeless person let me see though i think i did i don't know if he's homeless or not but we're gonna see if they are homeless if they are homeless how you stop if they are homeless we are going to bless them if they are not homeless we are going to move on but i know this car better uh get some get right behind me while right? they rushing me to go to some walmart
Is he homeless? Oh no. Uh, I don't think he's homeless. I don't think so. So we are going to go somewhere else to see if we can find some homeless people. Because they usually be right here. They usually do, but I don't see anybody today. So we're going to go somewhere else where I usually would see them here as well. I may come back over here. I actually may get him two plates just in case I don't see anybody else or what have you. So I think I spotted somebody on the corner of this gas station right here. So. All right, guys. So I actually spotted two homeless people. So now I'm gonna have to make a U-turn because I seen one on this corner, but I couldn't stop in time because uh, there was a car behind me. So we are about to make, ooh, we are about to make a U-turn so I can get him a plate. But I saw, I seen two people. spotted a homeless person and uh, so we about to give something hi how are you hi right, here you go i'm giving food away to the home to you guys here you go right, thank you here anytime i'm gonna give you another one no problem yes i'm positive all right, you can look in it if you want to, okay? All right. God bless you. Sir, could you call him over here too? Oh, okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you go over there and get him a plate too? Here, go over there and get him on this plate for, for me. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. Oh. I'm a dog mom, so you know I got to feed the dog too. And I got, oh, wait. So you know we gotta feed Rover. I can't let Rover be hungry. Here you go. You can give this to your dog, okay? I think so. All right, guys. So we done spotted. people here I did so guys I'm, I'm in my church building right now but well about to be by my church well I am by my church actually but I got like one more plate left and one more bottle of water left so we're gonna see if we can give it away to somebody that's over here in this area because I knew, I knew they was going to be, because like I said, they usually over here, and they usually over in the area where I was just in. So, we are looking for one more homeless person. Can we find them? Can we find them? A 
again, shocker. Yo, a pet peeve of mine is when I see folks taking baskets away from a store just to walk, just to have their stuff carried home in the, in that basket. Like, come on now. That's so ghetto. That's ghetto wretched. Ghetto wretched. So they just basically stole a cart from Walmart and about to walk up, walk to their apartment across the street. Just get off. Get off for no reason. Alright guys, so I don't see nobody. They usually be right there. But I don't see nobody, so we are about to go home. My brother want to go to the store too, so I got to get him my card so he can get something for it's real for me, so about to head to the house. So, yeah. So, I didn't see any more homeless people. So, I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat that sandwich myself. But, the, uh, but I'm just going to use that same plate and uh, make another sandwich keep everything else that's in there in there so I won't have to worry about adding no more in there because I'm just going to take the sandwich and eat it because your girl is hungry or whatnot. so yeah and yeah I'm going to go and get my car wash at this new car wash over here by me it's called Mod Car Wash I have never got it done there but apparently they got a special where you pay five dollars and you get a free wash for 30 days I don't know if I'm saying that right. My sister was telling me about it, but yeah, I'm going to wait till next week to get that discovered. And the purpose of this video really wasn't to boast about what I was doing or just to make a video about what I was doing. But it was honestly something God placed on my heart to do. Um, God knows I have a heart for the homeless. I have a heart for people, period, in general. Um, and God placed on my heart to do this last week sometimes. I actually done this before, but I was living in Memphis, Tennessee when I first did it. Um, I would actually go around different communities with plates such as that. Um, and I would just go around and just bless people with it. And so it is cold out there. And I know that it's it's time for them to you know what i'm saying to be in a warm place and different things like that but also i know that there's going to be more out there looking for food so i want to be a blessing also too i want to encourage you guys you know that when you do things like this it is considered sowing seed and it's also considered tithing y'all know that right tithing goes far beyond just giving to the church tithing can be helping the homeless tithing your time to god alone um just helping people in general so if god understand how the economy is or what i call is my dear economy <laughs> God knows how the economy is, okay? So he understands that there may be times where you may not be able to tithe or give. Listen, if you can't tithe or give, that's a difference, okay? God sees your heart and he um, judges the heart, all right? But if you can truly indeed give and you just not doing it, I'm going to need for you to do better. And I'm going to say it again. Yeah, I'll say the barking at the neighbor, okay? Y'all yeah, know how she is, so it's not new to y'all. But start start giving 
the star sowing seed, y'all. Like, seriously. Well, you give to the poor. You do understand. You touch God's heart. God's biggest commandment is for us to love one another. God talks about helping the homeless so much throughout the Bible. I didn't realize that until I actually got in the word for myself. He talks a lot about um helping the homeless. And two, you never know who you are entertaining as well. There's a there has been people that has helped the homeless and that homeless perps that homeless person end up with somebody that was wealthy. You see what I'm saying? And ended up helping that person who helped them. You never know. And also, you could be entertaining angels. You don't know who you are entertaining when you are blessing people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see Sadie. There she go right there. Hey, Sadie. Say, hey, mom. She got both her ears up. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, so start start helping people. Start sowing seed to people. Sowing seed goes beyond money. You can sow your time. You can sow food. You can sow your help. You can do different things, okay? So there's always something that you can do for the kingdom of God, okay? So again, God understand how the economy is. God understand how money is. So look, now if you can give money, please do because I'm telling Telling you you sow you will reap what you sow all right i'm just telling you now so please make sure that you are giving back please do because you are very fortunate and you are very blessed to be able to have shelter food clothes money a job a car everything you are blessed and even if you don't have a car you're blessed to be able to have some type of transportation so look at the blessings that God has given you and you bless those who needs it too. You see what I'm saying? You pour into people just as you want them to pour into you. All right. Again, this video is to really motivate you to go out there and to help somebody else. All right. Listen, so many times it's all about us, me, me, me. Or take, take, take. Sometimes we can't. Sometimes we got to help other people pour into other people just as we want people to pour into us. And sometimes we can't just always be the takers. We also got to be the givers, right? God bless a cheerful giver, right? So you have to be a giver a cheerful giver now if you're not going to be cheerful doing this don't do it because god is not going to honor if your heart posture is like well they need to be helping me don't do it because god is not going to bless you if your heart posture is like well nobody told them to be on the street nobody told them to be on drugs or to to do this and do that and another don't do it because god ain't gonna bless you because your heart is not right only do this if your heart posture is truly in the right place all right. Well, I pray that this blessed you in some type of way. Um, it's more of a new content, if you will, because I will be doing this again Sunday after church. Uh, I'm going to be doing like six plays this time. I think I got a total of uh, 12 plays in there. I gave four away today. Two. Yeah, I gave four away today and I only had five. So, um... I brought that plate back in here, and I'm going to fill that plate back up with another sandwich, if you will. But I'm not going to fix that until Sunday. Well, Saturday night. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator till Sunday and things like that. And then I'm going to go out to church to give it out. And I'm going to take you guys with me. So you guys will be with me doing church and when I'm doing this, all right? Because uh, I actually got to be at church at 845 Sunday because I am part of the intercessory team or whatnot. And we did our first prayer call yesterday. Well, I ain't going to say our first. It was my first prayer call. It was real nice. Uh, I actually uh, prayed for the election that, uh, that our government uh, would be led by the Holy Spirit. And not be led by the enemy. And you know what I'm saying? I began to bind up witchcraft and different things like that. Um, so, yeah. So, it was actually a good thing. It was. Um, so, I guess now what I'm about to do is I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to uh, go in here and fix me something to eat because I'm still hungry. 
I'm gonna do a little studying for uh I'm gonna do a TikTok video to remind them that I will be like oh yeah. I will be live on TikTok. My TikTok information is, it's between one and two things, Women on Fire, Ministry, or Amanda.Tucker1. So I'll try one of those if you want to be a part of the Single Girl Bible Study, all right? Tonight at 7.30 p.m. And don't forget to also, and I'm going to post it here too, please, women, 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 please make sure that you go onto my Facebook page and follow me there for Women on Fire, right? Peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, y'all, pour into people as if you want them to pour into you.